Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1717, The Loves of Mars and Venus is the first ballet performed in England. In 1788, the U.S. state of Georgia becomes the fourth state to ratify the United States Constitution. In 1789, Pennsylvania ends prohibition of theatrical performances. I bet you thought I was going to say alcohol. In 1796, Napoleon Bonaparte is appointed Commander-in-Chief of the French Army in Italy. In 1799, Congress standardizes U.S. weights and measures. In 1819, the Territory of Arkansas is organized. Also in 1819, the U.S. passes its first immigration law. In 1825, Roberto Cofresi, one of the last successful Caribbean pirates, is defeated in combat and captured by authorities. In 1829, the New England Asylum for the Blind is incorporated in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1853, the Territory of Washington is organized after separating from the Oregon Territory. In 1855, Alexander Romanov becomes the Tsar of Russia. In 1861, the U.S. creates the Dakota and Nevada Territories out of the Nebraska and Utah Territories. In 1865, the British newspaper Morning Chronicle begins publishing. Also in 1865, Freedmen's Bureau is founded for black education. In 1867, the U.S. Congress creates the Department of Education. Also in 1867, Jesse James' gang robs a bank in Savannah, Missouri. In 1868, the University of Illinois opens. In 1872, Canadian politician Louis Riel goes into voluntary exile in St. Paul, Minnesota. In 1874, the National Association of Professional Baseball Players makes three announcements on this day. They officially adopt the batter's box. They decided that any player betting on his own team will be expelled and that any player betting on any other team will forfeit his pay. In 1877, Rutherford B. Hayes was declared the winner of the disputed presidential election of 1876. In 1882, British Queen Victoria narrowly escapes an assassination attempt by Roderick McLean in Windsor. In 1888, the Convention of Constantinople is signed, which guarantees free maritime passage through the Suez Canal during war and peace. In 1899, President McKinley signs a bill creating Mount Rainier National Park. In 1900, American statesman and diplomat John Hay announces the open door policy to promote trade with China. In 1903, in New York City, the Martha Washington Hotel opens. It is the first hotel exclusively for women. In 1904, Theodore Seuss Geisel was born today. You know him simply as Dr. Seuss. In 1910, two trains crash in a snowstorm in Wellington, Washington. 118 people die. In 1917, the Joan Shafroth Act took effect today, which made Puerto Rico a territory of the United States and conferred U.S. citizenship on Puerto Ricans. In 1920, the second Palmer raids take place, with another 6,000 suspected communists and anarchists arrested and held without trial. These raids take place in several U.S. cities. In 1925, the U.S. adopts a nationwide road numbering system. In 1929, the U.S. Congress creates the Court of Customs and Patent Appeals. In 1933, the original black and white King Kong movie premieres. Also in 1933, the San Rico earthquake and tsunami hit Japan. The 8.4 magnitude quake is the country's most powerful in 180 years. In 1935, Richard Bruno Hopman goes on trial for the murder of Charles Lindbergh Jr., the toddler son of aviator Charles Lindbergh. In 1938, landslides and floods cause over 200 deaths in Los Angeles, California. In 1939, Cardinal Eugenio Pacelli is elected Pope and takes the name Pius XII. Also in 1939, the Massachusetts legislature votes to ratify the U.S. Bill of Rights. 147 years late. In 1942, the FBI convicts 33 members of the German Duquesne spy ring in the largest espionage case in United States history. Also in 1942, the 14th Academy Awards are today. The movie How Green Was My Valley, Gary Cooper, and Joan Fontaine win. In 1944, the 16th Academy Awards were today. Casablanca wins Best Movie. 
Also in 1944, fumes from a train that stalled in a tunnel suffocate 521 people to death in Italy. In 1945, the U.S. 8th Air Force bombs Dresden, Germany. In 1946, Ho Chi Minh is elected the president of North Vietnam. In 1949, Captain James Gallagher lands his B-50 Superfortress after completing the first non-stop around-the-world airplane flight in 94 hours and one minute. Also in 1949, the first automatic streetlight is installed in New Milford, Connecticut. In 1951, the first NBA All-Star game occurs today. The East wins. In 1953, the Academy Awards are first broadcast on television by NBC TV. In 1957, a cover of Laudy Miss Claudy is released by Elvis Presley. In 1958, the first surface crossing of the Antarctic continent is completed in 99 days today. In 1959, Luna 1, the first spacecraft to reach the vicinity of the moon and to orbit the sun, is launched by the Soviet Union. Also in 1959, a ceremony is held to mark the start of construction of the Sydney Opera House. In 1962, American singer-songwriter John Bon Jovi is born today. Also in 1962, basketball player Wilt Chamberlain scored a record 100 points in a game today. In 1964, the Beatles begin filming A Hard Day's Night and George Harrison meets Patty Boyd for the first time. Google her. In 1965, The Sound of Music movie starring Julie Andrews premiered today. Also in 1965, the U.S. and South Vietnamese Air Force began Operation Rolling Thunder against North Vietnam. In 1966, as of today, there are 215,000 U.S. soldiers in Vietnam. In 1967, Ronald Reagan is sworn in as the governor of California. Also in 1967, the Ninth Grammy Awards air. Strangers in the Night by Frank Sinatra wins Best Record, and Michelle by The Beatles wins Best Song. In 1968, 19-year-old American Peggy Fleming wins her third consecutive World Ladies Figure Skating Championship and immediately retires from the sport. In 1969, the supersonic airliner Concorde takes its maiden flight. In 1970, American Airlines' first flight of a Boeing 747 is today. Also in 1970, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that draft evaders cannot be penalized after five years. In 1972, the Pioneer 10 space probe is launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida with a mission to explore the outer planets. In 1974, United States President Richard Nixon signs a national maximum speed limit law lowering the U.S. speed limit to 55 miles per hour in order to conserve gasoline during an OPEC embargo. Also in 1974, the 16th Grammy Awards was today. Roberta Flack wins Best Record for Killing Me Softly, and Stevie Wonder wins Best Album for Inner Visions. In 1974 as well, a grand jury concludes that U.S. President Richard Nixon is involved in the Watergate cover-up. In 1976, Bubbling Brown Sugar opens at the Anta Theater in New York City for 766 performances. Also in 1976, Walt Disney World gets its 50 millionth guest. In 1977, Betty Davis is the first woman to receive the American Film Institute's Lifetime Achievement Award. Also in 1977, the future host of The Tonight Show, Jay Leno, makes his first appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. In 1981, one of the largest investigations by the British ends when serial killer Peter Sutcliffe, the Yorkshire Ripper, is arrested. In 1983, compact disc players and discs are released for the first time in the United States. In 1986, protesters try to stop the Land Rover Motor Company from being sold to a U.S. company. In 1988, the 30th Grammy Awards air. Record of the year is Paul Simon's Graceland. Album of the year is U2's Joshua Tree and Jody Watley wins Best New Artist. In 1989, the Exxon Houston oil tanker runs aground in Hawaii, spilling 117,000 gallons of oil. Also in 1989, Madonna's Like a Prayer premieres on a worldwide Pepsi commercial. And in 1989 as well, New York Mets stars Keith Hernandez and Daryl Strawberry nearly come to blows in front of reporters during spring training. 
In 1994, Miami, Florida begins a Latin Walk of Fame. Gloria Estefan is the first star. Also in 1994, the Branch Davidian cult leader David Koresh promises to surrender if a taped statement he recorded is broadcast. It is, but he doesn't. In 1998, data sent from the Galileo spacecraft indicates that Jupiter's moon Europa has a liquid ocean under a thick crust of ice. In 1999, English singer Dusty Springfield passes away today. She was only 59. Also in 1999, a brutal snowstorm hits the Midwestern United States, causing 14 inches of snow in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and 19 inches in Chicago, Illinois. In 2000, the St. Louis Blues become just the second team in NHL history to win 10 straight games on the road. In 2002, Operation Anaconda, the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan, begins. In 2004, Al-Qaeda carries out the Ashura massacre in Iraq, killing 170 and wounding over 500 people. Also in 2004, the Indianapolis Colts sign quarterback Peyton Manning to a seven-year $98 million deal with a $34.5 million signing bonus. In 2012, tornadoes kill at least 27 people in the U.S. states of Indiana and Kentucky. Also in 2012, Major League Baseball confirms that the postseason will be expanded from 8 to 10 teams with an extra wildcard team in each league. In 2012 as well, the NFL determines the existence of a bounty program in New Orleans for the 2009 through 2011 seasons. Saints players were given incentives to injure their opponents. Coach Sean Payton is suspended for the 2012 season. In 2014, at the 86th Academy Awards tonight, 12 Years a Slave wins Best Movie, and Matthew McConaughey and Kate Blanchett win Best Actor and Actress. In 2016, the longest non-stop scheduled commercial flight occurs today. An Emirates A380 flies 14,200 kilometers or 8,824 miles from Dubai to Auckland, New Zealand in 17 hours, 15 minutes. Also in 2016, U.S. astronaut Scott Kelly and Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko returned to Earth after nearly a year in space. In 2021, six books by Dr. Seuss will cease publication because of racist and insensitive imagery, according to Dr. Seuss Enterprises. Also in 2021, the governors of Texas and Mississippi both announce they are lifting mask mandates and COVID-19 health measures, despite CDC warnings. And lastly, in 2021 as well, today Dolly Parton receives the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine that she gave $1 million to to help develop. Okay, that was March 2nd. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot more where that came from. I'm making a whole bunch, obviously, because I'm making my way through the year, but I have a bunch right in front of you right now as well. Please make sure you subscribe.